Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is a special one because we've got a customer in this video. She's not going to be shown, but she can ask me some questions because she wants to know how does this system work. So I thought I'd make like a video and explain it to this customer and other customers can see as well. So you get two for the price of one. <laughs> All right, so what we've got here right in front of this big white vessel this is your hot water cylinder and it's an unvented cylinder and what it does <coughs> you get your hot water direct from this through these two points here that one there and this bottom one here and inside there you've got immersion heaters which directly heat this unvented cylinder so as i said you get your hot water direct from here it's it's got its own source it's controlled by these switches here, which it actually says it top boost <coughs> and the bottom one. Some switches turn on these two heating elements, which are just pointing out to you. So have you got any questions on that? So where, where is the system that heats up the water tank? Well, this is it. <clears throat> this is it, as I just said to you. This is inside here. You've got stored hot water. Yeah. Yeah. And here, mm -hmm. behind there, mm -hmm. and the one at the bottom, you got an um, heating element. Oh right. Okay. So it's like a kettle. Okay. So <clears throat> that gets hot. Yeah. And then heats up the water inside there. Okay. And then your hot water comes at the top. Yeah. And that goes to your taps. Right, okay, I get it. Yeah? Yeah, that's great. So, that's basically it. Now for your radiators, you've got a separate unit here. This is another electric unit, but this is a boiler. Call it a flow boiler. And that does your radiators. So you've got this pump at the bottom here. That pumps around the radiators. It pumps water into this unit it gets hot as it goes through it and then goes at the top that's a flow pipe <clears throat> and then that goes down like that and then that's going to go to the radiators so this one is going to go to the radiators around the system we call this a wet system so you've got electric boiler which goes to radiators and heats them up. So, any questions on that? No, I think that was pretty clear. Okay, you've got your timer here. That's your timer that controls your heating. So you program that for it to come on. You've got this display. So when the timer is calling for heat, you'll have this call light that'll display that'll come on when it's on you get like a yellow bar or a green bar which goes up showing that the unit is on is that okay yeah all right so you got another question you want to know how to time this program this right this is um your timer so what you do you've got this switch here this selector switch so you move let's get a bit closer so you move up to like that set program and then you'll see that flashing like this see that button there it says yes mm -hmm. so you press that and wait a minute that was your first door. so go through it again yeah, start from the beginning right so you press that up it's got your first on you can watch this back on the video mm -hmm. you can see first on then you need to adjust your time what you want to come on so what time do you want to come on in the morning um six six okay so what you do I'm pressing the plus button till I get to six. So at six a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. So if, 
if you're happy with that, you press yes. Okay. And then you can see now it says off. And then you just, your next off time. So you said six, so you want to go off at what time? Half eight. Half eight. So you... Or eight, make it eight. Sorry. Eight, okay. So we've got eight o'clock. So you press it again. Right, so this is going to be like your um, evening time, tea time. All right. What time would you want that? Um, Five, six? Yeah, maybe, no, a bit later actually. Maybe eight to eight? nine. Okay. Well, eight to ten. Okay, so we move that down to wrong way. That's eight. Press yes again. And you said till 10. Mm -hmm. That's already set at 10. Okay. So that's it. Press that down to run. And there you go. Okay, great. So it's now programmed. Last thing is this gauge, this pressure gauge. You've got a seal system. So you need to get it topped up just a little bit more than what it is now. It wants to be just over one. So where the red needle is, you need a black needle to be the same. So what you do, oh, you've got this lever there. You turn that lever to 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock slowly and you'll hear the water go in. And you watch it till the black needle meets the red needle and then close it back to the position where it's in now. Okay. And then that's it. So maintain that and it'll be okay. Other thing, if you do vent the radiators, letting the air out, you then you gotta come back here and top it back up because you will lose pressure if you let the air out of the radiators. So that's gonna be the end of the video. So if you like it, you can um, subscribe to our channel, give us a comment, I'll be glad to hear from you and you can share it with you and your family and friends as well. So that's it from me, and I'll see you on the next video.